Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel guys, to the newcomers, my name is Didi, I'm walking on the beach again in Lagos, Portugal, check this amazing sunrise over there guys, very beautiful colors in these skies, today again talking about the Bitcoin price, some charts, giving you a trading tip, giving you a travel tip, of course some live advice uh, and some really important news that is really concerning at the moment. I don't like what I'm seeing, but I'm gonna share that news in a second with you guys. So let's jump into the video. Bam. This is the first chart out of four charts, guys. Um, check this, the blue line, the NASDAQ, the orange line, of course, Bitcoin. The orange line has been trending up lately, while the NASDAQ has been plummeting lately. So the difference between Bitcoin and the Nasdaq is that yes, Bitcoin does perform uh, also in markets where there is not a printed an unlimited amount of money. The Nasdaq is not performing. As you can see, we are only dropping lower, lower, lower. All to the left on the chart. You can see from that highest point in blue, we are now at the lowest point. And we are now again equal at the left part of the chart. So Bitcoin is outperforming the Nasdaq again and again and again. Next chart. You can see a pinkish line that is the halving three that is the halving that we are now going towards that's our moment that where we are in the pinkish line and you can see this pinkish dotted line that is a short-term holocaust basis line now for all these bull runs you can see that we always stayed close to that short-term holocaust basis to so the yellow to the yellow dotted line the orange to the orange dotted line we are now with the pinkish tied to that pinkish dotted line we are just a little bit below it but it happens multiple times during these pre-bull runs guys so for now we are going work towards the halving that halving will be around that short term holocaust cost price that circle that you see there i believe we will be around that level again that would be between 30 and 40k at the moment if you look at it in price ways and then we will start to cross above that pinkish dotted line with the pinkish line and go create a distance from the dotted line and that is the massive bull run that we are going to experience again so beautiful chart if you want to analyze it some more then stop the video and look at it now we have this chart the supply held by long-term holders this one is making me very happy 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 long time like they say in thailand guys yes why look we are almost at an all-time high when it comes to the long-term holder supply people are holding the bitcoins very strongly and that is why we are almost creating an all-time high we are at 75.8 percent supply held by long-term hodlers that is the people that probably won't sell to all these institutional investors they will huddle long time and that's now 75.8 percent of the bitcoin supply is in the hands of these long-term hodlers this is very beautiful to see. Long-term hodlers are ruling the market instead of the short-term hodlers. And then at the end, we'll create even more scarcity and push the Bitcoin price higher. Because we are not selling, but a shitload of people is coming to the market that wants to buy. And if those suits and those institutional investors and those spot buyers and the ETF want to buy my Bitcoin, at least one million dollar per bitcoin guys <laughs> that's the power that we have is the long-term hodlers let's keep huddling then we have the last shot guys this one is the bitcoin returns from 2010 to 2023 you can see how many returns we have made every year of course 2010 was a beautiful year with almost 10,000 percent and then of course that was the first complete run but let's look at 2017 1300 percent then we had the 73 percent crash then we had 2019 was 95 percent 2020 300 percent 2021 66 percent yes 2022 we had this huge crash again i think it was higher than 65 i think it was, so, was somewhere around 70 percent in my honest opinion but let's say 65 this chart is made by charlie b lello uh, and in 2023 year today we are at 61 percent already now every time the first green year after a red year will be a positive year will not be the biggest year look 2018 73 percent minus then we had 95 percent in the first year after that bearish year the year after we went all the way up to 300 percent now we had 65 percent in red now we had 60 percent 
so then the year after 2024 will be a bigger year yes 20, 2025 in my honest opinion will be the bull market year at least we will see the top in 2025 but then from there it will also start to retrace again so it will start at a beautiful level at the beginning of the year but it also will end at a lower level than the top at the end of the year which makes that year not the most positive year so 2024 is the year you should be in bitcoin because that's when you make the most part of the gains in this new bull run so we are in 2023 a couple of months ahead of the halving you should be buying bitcoin now pause that video and just check it for yourself the year after the pink year is a positive year but the second year after that pinkish year is way more positive and that year should be the year for you to pump your bags that were all the charts for today Bam. So I hope you really enjoyed the chart guys. Yes, I don't look at the short time frames too much. I always look at the zoomed out version. The zoomed out version is the most important one. I will keep repeating this information every time again and again and again. In my honest opinion, the bottom was around 16K. Everything, everything between 16 and 30K is a cheap buy for Bitcoin. I believe that the price again will go to higher highs than the previous all time of 70K. So that's a minimum of doubling your capital at the moment i believe even triple or quadruple your capital easily from this these levels guys so for me there's only one message when it comes to trading buy bitcoin trading tip for today guys is about the golden ratio it's very important when you trade that you use the fibonacci retracement levels just you look to the previous high or low and then re and then draw the Fibonacci retracement and then the golden ratio is around at 61.8 percentage level guys so that's the level that we probably pull back to after a huge run or that we bounce to after a huge dump so the golden ratio google it for yourself uh, maybe i can put a link down below uh, about the golden ratio that you can see that there's even documentaries about that one really cool the golden ratio is always a level that we would retrace or pump to guys now that was the trading tip for today bam travel tip of today guys has to do with what i'm doing now we are walking the beach and we are looking at the sunrise and for me the sunrise and the sunset are the most beautiful moments of the day i love the colors in the sky i love to wake up early it gives me the rhythm to do something every day at the same time and it's just a magical moment so i would advise you guys wherever you are in the world always look at the sunrise it makes you wake up early but it gives you this energy boost i don't know how it does it but it gives you the energy boost so i will show you here this beautiful sunrise now in lagos portugal check if you don't think this is amazing these colors the birds on the side the waves it just gives you that extra amount of energy that you need to start your day it's just very beautiful so my travel tip for today is wherever you are watch that sunrise and watch the sunset even in big cities like bangkok or in dubai or wherever you are from a rooftop it's a beautiful moment to see the sun appear and to see the sun go down again so that was a simple travel tip for me but for me a very important one that's why i'm always near the beach because i love the sunset there on the ocean and i love also the sunrise on the ocean travel tip of today follow the sun bam The news for today, guys, I want to talk about Russell Brand. I don't know if you know Russell Brand. I really like Russell Brand's videos. He makes these very critical videos about the world, about, you know, everything that I make my videos about as well. I'm always, I'm always asking myself, is this really true that the mass media is showing us? Why is YouTube, for example, blocking me when I talk about that uh, thing in your arm or that thing uh, for you, uh, across your mouth? A mouth diaper, you know? So. Russell Brand is doing this hardcore already for years, questioning everything that the government does. And now he received a letter, or TikTok received a letter, at the director of TikTok, that he should stop Russell Brand's channel because now, of course, they are canceling Russell, Russell Brand. Yes, he uh, raped kids and he did that and he did that. You know, it's all fucking lies in my honest opinion. They just want to cancel all those people 
that speak the truth about everything that happened to us in the last couple of years. And they can't handle the truth, and that's why they need to cancel them. And that's how they target now TikTok or any other social media and request them to cancel the Russell Brand channels. Same like they did to all the other people that were shouting out loud that they didn't believe in those things that the media told us about the pandemic the last couple of years, guys. I'm not even near the hugeness of Russell Brand's channel and all that stuff, but I talk about the same concepts. That's why I wasn't allowed to upload my videos for a week, like a couple of weeks ago, because I said that it could lie to some weird stuff in your body and that, yeah, the World Health Organization didn't agree with that. And that bam blocked my channel for a week. So even maybe now, because of talking about this again, it can keep, get blocked. And that's not like really nice when you're a content creator, because as a content creator, you want to have freedom of speech. That's why we are social media. We are the opposite of mass media. We are the media with a social touch. We are the media people that are in between all of those people that want to watch your channel because you speak the truth in their opinion. I should be able to tell whatever I want. That is freedom of speech. Of course, if I tell lies, like hardcore lies or hateful things, yeah, of course you can cancel, uh, you can block that video. But not if there is no proof of that I'm not telling the truth. A Russell Brand, in my opinion, is always telling the truth, but not the truth they want to hear. And that is why he's going to be cancelled. So I want you guys to all sign up as well to my Rumble channel and to all my other social media channels where I upload my videos daily as well. Because if I get cancelled, then at least you can watch my videos over there. Because the making of these videos is kind of my passion. I really love to wake up in the morning and make these videos with all educational content for you. But I want to have freedom in speech when it comes to all that content. So please sign up to all the backup channels so that if I get cancelled, you will have still access to the beautiful beach walk and talks here on the beach in Lagos, Portugal, but soon again in Thailand. So please sign up to the other ones as well. Bam. Which brings me also to the live advice for today, guys. Um, it's very simple. When you're doing what I'm doing, for example, and many other people are doing as well, like doing social media, you get a lot of critics. The truth is, you never get criticized by the people that do more than you. You will only get criticized by the people that do less. Keep that in your mind. All those people criticizing you do less than what you do for this world. And that's very important to understand. That was my inspirational tip for today. Bam. Question I received yesterday uh, from a follower was, guys, uh, Didi, do you think that after this next bull run, Bitcoin will again drop with 70 to 80%? Because there's uh, going to be less Bitcoins available, more institutional investors around. So will they also dump the Bitcoins like retail always does so that we drop 70 to 80%? My honest opinion, we will always see that crash, guys. It doesn't matter who is in the market. It's always a healthy retraction that builds up the market again into this new bull run. So we can't just stay in this huge massive bull run. Of course, we saw uh, gold when we had the spot ETF uh, for gold when it was introduced. We saw gold going up for years and years and years. But even there were small pullbacks, like a 20, 30 percent, you know. So in my honest opinion, we are not there yet with Bitcoin. This is the first Bitcoin bull run that uh, where institutional investors have access through a spot ETF, which could turn out different than normally but there will always be a pullback. And in my opinion, we are not there yet. This is the first bull run yet. So I believe if we go up into this new bull run, the new bear market bottom in 2026 will be just above 30K. So yes, I expect another massive dump in Bitcoin because guys, always remember, also those institutional investors, those suits, they go into Bitcoin to make profit. And to make profit, you need to take profit. And when they see the top of the bull market topping out they will start to take profits and when they start to take profits the bitcoin price will come down again and that will like drive their whole retail again oh shit they are all taking profit let's take profit and we'll push the bitcoin price even more down so for me these 70 percent uh, pullbacks are part of the four-year cycle 
And I believe that if we go to 120 or 30k, we pull back that 70 percent, we will stay above 30k. So that's why I'm always saying buying Bitcoin below 30k now could be the last time ever you will be able to buy it below 30k because the bull and after that again is going to be higher and also a higher bottom. Higher highs, higher lows. That's what I believe. Guys. So yeah, that's my honest opinion. But always understand, I'm not a financial advisor. I am just reading the indicators. When I see a bull market top, I will take some profits. And when I see the bottom, I will just start buying Bitcoin back again. That was all. Bam. And that is the end of the video, guys. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment let me know what you think about all the content i created today for you guys and also subscribe to the channels all of the other channels i wish you an amazing day hopefully you will see a beautiful rise in bitcoin again let's see what it will do before this beautiful weekend starts again tomorrow guys now wish you an amazing day see you tomorrow again bam